liturgy of the day calls us to spread the love of God in our daily lives. The readings calls us to go and proclaim the word of God and it is for that we are sent in this world to follow his word. Today, with grateful heart, we thank the Almighty for the gift of Father Philip who has served us in our parish for the past six years with dedication and much love. He fulfilled his mission and call of spreading the love of God entrusted to him and as he leaves for a last minute to continue his further mission, we ask the Lord to accompany him in his endeavors. At the same time, we thank God for, for continuing to shower his love upon us in the person of Father Angelino Vaz, as he will be taking up the responsibility as the parish priest to spread the love of God. We ask the Lord to accompany him today and always. Keeping these intentions in mind, let us take part in this Eucharistic celebration. For the entrance, I take him number 141. Him number 141. Sin, 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my thought, through my thought, through my most previous thought. Therefore, I ask that you may be a virgin of the angels and saints, and with my brothers and sisters to pray for me in the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. I was no prophet, nor prophet's son, 
but I was a wordsman and a dresser of Sai Morgan's face. But the Lord took me from following the flock, and the Lord said to me, Grow prophesy, my people Israel. The word of the Lord. Your response? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. This will be, let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what the Lord God speaks. He speaks of peace for his people and his faithful. His salvation is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Your response? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. Merciful love and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have kissed. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Your response? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. Also the Lord will restore his bounty. And our earth shall yield his increase. Justice will march before him and guide his steps on the way. The response? Let, Let us see the Lord in your mercy and grant us your salvation.
Jesus called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He charged them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not put on two tunics. And he said to them, Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you depart from there. And if any place will not receive you, and they will not listen to you, when you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that people should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, as we came down in the sacristy, Father Arjuna told me to bed in the room. So I said, he said, not to take. The gospel that we had today, they have not changed it. It just happens to be the gospel of the 15th Sunday in the ordinary time, that is today. And there are various variations in the gospels. What we read today is from the gospel of Saint Mark. He said not to take anything except the star, star Dharma. There is Matthew and Luke say, do not take a star. Mark is saying, take a star. Now there are, various, there are variations. I do not want to go into the variations right now. Uh, this is the last sermon. I want to keep it precise. The idea behind the words of Jesus, or the instructions of Jesus, was very simple. We are going to the work of God. We are going to the work of Christ. And God will be with you. Christ will be with you. You don't have to worry about anything. Last Saturday, eight days ago, I went to the last level and I took over the, the church of Alleluia Perpetual Sucker on Sunday. It is the fourth. And on Friday, this Friday, I came back to this place with Father Anjanino. And in the morning, we had our
Try to take a bite from Pompano and travel to last level uh, for Mass twice a week in the Mother Church. So we can take two Masses a week on Wednesday and we have to travel to the Church and on Sunday. Now we have a residence over there in last level itself. It is not completely a new place for me. And already, I will take a few days, five days back in Sada Angelina. And the people already started uh, coming. And it shows us people are always there for us. Sada uh, Angelina came on Friday. People already started coming you know, to meet him. It shows that, it shows that when we do the work of Christ, God is always with us through his people, his true love. Today we have a parish pastor council over here and uh, we have the sister, we have a uh, Eucharistic minister, some others, the camera person and the choir, etc. All of us are involved in some way or the other. We are representing, we are representing our seven communities, we are representing all the 500 families of our Holy Cross Church. And if it would be possible, you know, the church would have been full of people because they want to show their support, their care and that is why we are here today. We thank God for the blessing of His church, for the blessing to each one of us. And when we participate in the ministry of God, when we participate in the ministry that God has given each one of us, either as priests or maybe as lady, maybe as a reader, maybe as a Eucharistic minister, as a counselor, a reader and a singer and a altar server, then we are doing the work of Christ. We are not doing the work of Father Philip or Father Anjali or you know, Bishop Bartho or Miss Bishop or Father Ronald. We are doing the work of Christ. So all of us, including myself and our priests, all of us, we do the work of Christ in whatever way we are called to do. So let us pray that God will be with us, will bless us, they bless our families because of all that we do for Him, because of all that we do for His Church. You know, in this pandemic, in this situation of lockdown, the last year we could not do much as a church. Yet, God has been with us, God has been with our families, He has guided us, He has guarded us and set us safe. We pray for His continuous blessings upon each one of us, upon our families, from Paris. Continue to pray for me in my new assignment and for Father Angelina, for Father Ronald. And I too will continue to pray for you and for this church, for the priests in this church. May God Himself guide us, be with us, and stay with us always. I believe in God, the Father of Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Holy Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father of Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We place our prayers, our petitions before our Lord. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayers. I peace. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, clergy, and religious that as people chosen by God, they may carry out their mission with a deep sense of responsibility. We pray to our Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For vacations to priesthood and religious life, that the youth of today may welcome God's call and prepare themselves for a life of service in the church. We pray to the Lord, Lord, for youth in our parish community, that they may have the assistance of the Holy Spirit to choose their profession and excel in their choice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Christians all over the world that they may appreciate their call to discipleship and live a life worthy of the call. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for Father Philip and all his intentions to always keep him closer to your heart. Bless him with wisdom and knowledge above all to bless him with good health. We pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we entrust Father Angelino to your care. We ask your blessings upon him and on his new universe. May the Lord who called him guide him to spread his love among all. We pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us present here, that we may experience God's love and an abundant riches of his mercy. We pray to our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers and our petitions we place before you. We ask for special blessings upon each one of us, upon each and every family in our parish. Bless our Holy Cross Church. He make this prayer with us, our Lord. Amen. For the opposite time, number 391. In number 391. Spirit upon them like the new form, so that 
they may become one of us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended into the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of faith and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have called us all to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be together in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring on the fullness of charity together with Francis Hambo and Cardinal Oswald, our Archbishop, and all the Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, remembering to be blessed with eternal life, and make praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the sages of one and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us in this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the day and the power and the glory of our Lord's now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, and the apostles, peace I give you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins or on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those who are the in the suffer of the land. Lord, I know the glory and the nation and the other land. What do you say about it? And my soul shall be healed.
after serving our parish for six long years. On this occasion, I now request Miss Priska Maskinanes to give a farewell speech for the film.
I now request Father Philip Isuda to say a few words on this occasion. Father Philip. This all is more than I expected. Uh, Reverend Father Angelina Mars, the parish priest of Holy Cross Church, Reverend Father Ronald, the assistant and principal of Holy Cross School and my dear people in this church, the PPC members, the Eucharistic members, the choir and all the people at home probably uh, watching this program right now. As a parish priest of Holy Cross, when I was told in 2015, I think so from the month of October, they started telling me that you have to become the parish priest the next year. I was an assistant in this room beside me, our conference room. And I said, no, I will not become the parish priest. And again, they kept on telling me until it was almost forced upon me. And I remember in those days, Father Naveen's friend, Father Henry, senior priest, many of the parish priest was, the, uh, was with us at Militar. And I asked him, I'm confused, I said, what should I do? And he said, you go ahead. And then I asked Father Naveen, because he would have been my assistant, late Father Naveen. And he said, take it as a learning experience. The people are very kind-hearted. You already know the assistant. The people are loving. They will support you. I will support you. And because it was my first time as parish priest, I was like, no, absolutely not. So when both these priests, after speaking to them, Father Naveen, Father Henry, I said, yes. And from then on, I was a parish priest. I had two PPC council terms and uh, many coordinators, animators, etc. And uh, I'm getting scared to take the names of all the cells and associations because I might miss someone. So I will just say very simple words without actually taking the names. I mean, everyone has to always speak to the Legion of Mary, uh, the uh, Hope and Life Movement members, the charismatic for the Hindi and the company that I depend on your prayers. And then everyone else, like the TPC members, the finance committee, the coordinators, the animators, or Eucharistic ministers, and every other cell association that we have, whether it is readers or liturgy committee, or whether it is altar servers, everyone collaborated, everyone helped, everyone cooperated in the best way possible. And therefore, without this experience, or without your experience in my life, uh, this enriching, this enrichment would have not happened to me. And so I am indebted to each one of you, to each one of our people of Holy Cross Church, Jew. So all our parishioners, all of you who are here, you know, some of them are so small, like you know, the remote parish councillors. And uh, because of you, Every one of you, every one of you, each and every one of you, everyone at home watching probably uh, because of your prayers mainly, because of your support, help and cooperation, I was able to do whatever I could have done in this church from small things to maybe even a uh, little bigger things. If it was not for you, it was not possible. So I thank Almighty God for being with me and guiding me and helping me in this task that he entrusted to me through our bishop, through our provincial, through our superiors and each one of you also participated in whatever I had. I want to say that I have learned a lot as a human being firstly, I have grown a lot and I have learned a lot and grown a lot in understanding things of the church. I mean I had knowledge about of the church, etc., even before I got this post. But this was like a practical experience for me, having to deal with uh, this church as a parish priest. And I'm indebted to each one of you, to our parishioners, to every family. In whatever way you have helped me, may God bless you. And I will never forget this experience. This has been the first experience for me as a parish priest, and I will never forget it. So thank you very much. Continue to pray for me, continue to guide me, and uh, I mean, we'll keep in touch. 
mainly pray for me for me continue to be with me in my ministry. The first important thing that I value is the prayer of the people. And I tell many people, there are many people to pray for me. That is why I can do whatever I can. Uh, and now we have our new parish priest, Reverend Father Ranjali Rawaz. I have worked with him. I was his assistant when he was parish priest in Ambala. And I went along with him a lot. We are quite opposite. We are quite opposite. I am the most serious type. And he is the opposite. In every day we are opposite. I mean, look at this tower. You know. it, is, it is big. You know what? It is full of, it is full of laughter. It comes from there. Now, when he is laughing, look at his stomach when he is laughing. He is full of laughter. And uh, I learned a lot from him as an assistant at Mambala. And even now, these five days while I was staying with him in the last two days over here, he is a genuine person. He is very simple. He is very fun. I am the opposite. I have a lot to learn from him when it comes to these aspects. So thank you, Mr. Angelino, for whatever we have done. And I thank Mr. Ronald Souza for with me in the last two years. I could not thank Mr. Lapin, but I must thank Mr. Ronald. Mr. Ronald was such a man that he was always there for me. Even when I could not do certain things, or maybe I was late to do certain things, he was always there. And I have been telling even my provincial and Mr. Angelino. Now if Mr. Ronald, there is no tension. If you think I have to do this thing tomorrow, by the time I get up in the morning, it is already done. Yeah. When I got up on 24th of June in the morning, he already sent me the photograph of St. John the Baptist down, you must have seen, uh, down with that umbrella and everything. He sent me the photograph. He already did it. I mean, he's very fast, very prompt, very helpful, and he's a good, and it was very good to be with him. So I thank you, Mr. Ronald. I thank you, Mr. Angelina Abbas. And each one of you, without making any names, I am grateful to each one of you and all your people in our communities. I thank you. God bless each one of you and pray for me. Thank you. First of all, dedicated to Father Pili on this occasion.
I now request our PPC member, Mr. Edward Rizula, to now welcome our new parish priest, Father Engineer of Wales.